what's up i'm troubleshoot if you want to mod hollow knight silk song here's an extremely simple guide so first of all the steam version is the easiest place to mod you might be able to mod on other platforms and the steps should be somewhat similar you mainly need access to the game files right click the game on the steam hover over manage and choose browse local files here's where we'll be placing mod files we download and things like that most mods will require something called Beb and X. You'll find this page linked down below. And if you don't want to make a Nexus Mods account, you'll also find a download link from thunderstore.io, which is an alternate site to Nexus Mods. Either way, choose download. I'll be using the Nexus Mods page and I'll click manual here. Then I'll choose slow download once I've signed in and we'll open up the zip file we just downloaded. Take all of these files and drag them into your games folder, just like that. Now you're able to start modding Hollow Knight Silk Song. But before we do, I would recommend backing up your current save game. Hold Start or the Windows key and press E to open up a new file browser. At the very top, click here so we can type and enter percentage local app data percentage low as such, then hit enter. This will take you to C users, your username, app data, local, low. Inside of here, click anywhere and hit T to jump straight down to T for Team Cherry. Open up this folder, followed by Hollow Knight Silk Song, and inside of here, you'll find a unique identifier for whatever platform you're playing this on. In my case, it's Steam, so this is something to do with my Steam ID. And when we open this up, you'll see your save game in here. What I'd recommend is copying this entire folder, like I have here, just so we have a backup if anything goes wrong. I'd recommend doing this probably once in a while, especially whenever you're adding new mods and things like that. You might always want to go back to where we were. Now, we'll launch up the game just to see if Beppin X is installed properly. And once you launch it up, hit F1, where we'll see this window pop up. If you see it, congratulations, Beppin X is installed properly. Here, you can open the log to see if there's any issues with mods loading, things like that. And of course, you're able to manage your existing mods, settings, and things like that. But for now, I'll just hit close in the top right and quit the game. Let's actually download some mods. Heading back to either Nexus Mods, Hollow Knight Silk Song Mods, we can find some popular mods here to download, or Thunderstorm, Hollow Knight Silk Song, you'll find this page linked down below. We can find some popular mods to download. Nexus Mods, and I guess any modding platform, can always have malicious user uploads. So what I would recommend is sorting by, not date published, but by endorsements or downloads. This way you'll easily find the most popular mods. If you're on this page here, just hit view all next to trending mods and it should automatically have endorsements selected here, as well as in the last seven days to find the most recently trending mods. From here, we could download something like the completion tracker, interactive map, etc. I'll say popular in the last month and we can download something like, I don't know, Bonfire Teleport. This allows us to quickly teleport between unlocked benches. And what I would recommend is usually reading through the description or installation requirements as sometimes mods will require other mods or extra things to be configured. Here, it doesn't seem like anything crazy is required. We'll head across to the Files tab and scrolling down, we'll choose Manual Download followed by slow download here. We can open up the zip once it's done and we'll have a Bepinex folder or a plugins folder. Depending on what you have here, navigate back to your games installation folder and depending on what you downloaded, we'll either need to, assuming the file has a Bepinex folder with plugins inside, we can just drag the matching folder name into here. So we can merge Bepinex from the downloaded plugin with the one here inside of our game folder. Just like that, the plugin's installed. If your download just has a plugins folder, you can open Bepinex inside your games folder and drag it into here to merge these. Or if you just downloaded a DLL, this goes into your games installation folder, Bepinex and plugins. There you go. Now that we've got this installed, we can actually start up the game and our mod should just work. So if we hit F1, you can see the Bonfire Teleport mod is installed. We can click on it and customize some settings here. So at this point, we can just open up the map and zoom in and find a bench that we can teleport to. This is literally any bench you've unlocked. If we choose this one here and hit A once we're hovering over it, we teleport straight to it. Let's say down here, let's teleport to this one. Aim A and just like that, you jump to wherever you want to be. Pretty cool. This is the modern action. Definitely a lot quicker than traveling to fast travel points, which you can also hit A on to travel straight to. 
it's a lot easier than needing to travel to these fast travel points as you can just select a bench and teleport straight to it. Pretty useful, especially when you're super late game and you just want to collect things from really, really far away and things like that. It's nice to jump around this quick, although obviously not by design. A lot of mods that you can download can break the difficulty of the game or customize it in ways not originally intended, but however you want to play it is the best way to play it, most of the time that is. Also, sometimes, for example, the Simple Cheats mod works with other mod loaders like Melon Loader. If you see multiple mod loader types, Bepinex is what I just showed you how to set up here, so that's the version you'll be downloading. This mod, for example, just has the plugins folder, so that's why I explained opening up the Bepinex folder and dropping it here so it matches and just merges. There you go, just like that. I've now installed this mod. But yeah, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.